All right, what's up guys? Finally getting around doing a little update. This is kind of just to catch people up because I kind of disappeared off of uh, social media for you know, basically ever since high school. Um, and with YouTube, I kind of just been like uh, in and out. Instagram, kind of the same way, just like spurts. And then, but nobody really knows what's going on. So that's kind of what this video is for as well. All right, so basically I'm just explaining how did I get into photography what led it to that, what's coming up next, and so forth and so on. So, when I was in high school, I was doing the whole rapping thing. We would steal beats off of YouTube, make a song to them, put them on SoundCloud. Started off just messing around in somebody's garage. Um, I really love it, I really liked it though. I mean, I was really into music. I had been around it my whole life. My dad was a DJ um, when I was a kid. Um, so I started getting real into it, studying uh, rappers, like, just real interested in like their life and like more than just their music and everything. We would try to go out and take pictures on our iPhones and put them on Instagram, cool pictures to like make people come to our profile, click on the link and then go, you know, basic advertising, but like in a small way, like very beginner stage. Um, then we also started shooting like music videos, trying to mess around with that. I love music, I, I really do. Um, but when I got down there, I just got to the point to where it was like, I was so stressed because I was going down there thinking, I have to make a living off of music. Like I have to try to put as many songs out as fast as I can. They gotta be the best quality. Like I just need to make money off of music now and a lot of it. Um, so that put me under a lot of stress. I was not able to write. I decided like with all that like stress and like pressure on me that like it just, it wasn't common. I have writer's block. I just couldn't get in that creative mind. Music's supposed to be fun. You know, that's what it had always been to me up to that point it was getting to the point where it wasn't fun anymore. So that's why I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take a step back and I'm gonna, I'm gonna like rethink this. Uh, at the same time, I was getting into like, throwing YouTube, watching interviews and all that good stuff. Like, you know how you get on YouTube and you just end up watching some other stuff that like you were never even planning on watching. Um, I ended up on some bloggers uh, profiles and checking out some of their videos. First person I really got into and like watched all the time was Justin Escalona or by then he went by, back then he went by play the game films. I ended up back in Virginia. Uh, I got a camera. My first camera was a A6 III stock kit lenses. Didn't get any more before I went back down to Florida and I was moving in with a bunch of creatives. So there was like an artist, that was my friend. There was a, was a music video, like a, another videographer, but he only did like music videos. And he does like weddings and stuff too, but his main thing was like he wanted to do music videos. Um, there was a, somebody painting, there was other artists, there was producers, like it was cool just around creative energy all the time. So I got a camera and I was supposed to go down there and I was just gonna vlog. Um, I was real into vlogging at the time. I just got a camera just to just to like what does what does Gary Vee always say? Uh document. Yeah yeah. I just wanted to like document all the stuff. I figured that would be a cool like thing like give an insight to like all these creatives lives and everything and they were down with it. Uh, but yeah I got down there Things didn't work out with the landlord. Uh, we're on good terms now. I mean, like, no hard feelings. Now that I'm back here, like, I'm, I'm super, like, happy about how everything worked out. When I, when I moved back from Florida, I decided, like, there's nothing interesting going on here. There's just, like, fields, cows, tractors, like, you know? There's not no, there's not much nightlife. Everything closes at 10, probably earlier. Um, so yeah, it was just wasn't gonna be anything super interesting going on, so, one day, somebody was, like saw the pictures. I was still shooting and stuff, messing around. I wasn't just gonna put down the camera, I just got it. Um, so I was still shooting pictures and videos, uploading them and everything. And one day, somebody was like, they liked the pictures. They like, they were like, yo, I'd be willing to like pay for some work like this. So I started thinking, I was like, damn, I never really thought about like doing that type of work. I was always into like, just doing like cool little vlogs and maybe getting into music videos because I like music so much and like combining the two together. But that was just further down the line when I learned a lot more. Um, so yeah, started getting more gear. You know how like when you like, every photographer does this from what I've learned by watching people on YouTube, like you just go out and buy like the next big camera, the next big lens, the, you gotta have everything. And then like you get to go create and you're like, wow, I don't actually need all that. I could have made it with this. Yeah, that's the phase that I was in. I started buying a bunch of camera gear and everything. Um, started shooting pictures, videos all the time. It kind of just became like 
my life because I was trying to just get better at it for the sake of doing freelance work and getting better at it so people want me to shoot pictures and videos for them. Which in the beginning was never the reason I got a camera in the first place. Um, I never planned on doing pictures at all. It was just because I had a camera doing videos. I was like, yo, I might as well learn how to do pictures. Uh, yeah, so I started started trying to dive into that. And it got to a point to where when you're trying to do something like that, you need to some you need a way to like pull people in to like where they can see your work, you need a place to share your work. So I started doing that on Instagram. Just posting my pictures, never really posted a picture of myself anymore, just posting my work so people could see it and contact me and we could work together. Um, I got to where like I had photographer and videographer in my bio, but I didn't that's not really what I wanted to consider myself because like I want to do so much more than that even back like when I first got the camera it was never like just doing videos now it's like stepping stone to the next step um, it felt kind of weird having videographer and photographer in my bio I would randomly change it like I'm not really sure if that should be in there I'd go ahead and change it to like media or just creator something more broad because I felt like that was more I never wanted to just do videos uh, so yeah, that uh, I got kind of sidetracked, I guess you could say, like get caught up in trying to make money off of it, and yeah, I never wanted to be a photographer and a videographer, like that's not really what I was into. Don't get me wrong, I love it, it's cool, it's fun, I'm good at it now, I've been studying it for three years, I'm not just going to sell the stuff and like start my life over, like I really do enjoy it, it's just second to music, that's what really like I really get into I get lost I mean like I'll lock in and forget what time it is be sitting there for hours so also like when you're like working with somebody there's like a creative type of uh, work you can tell when somebody's like not passionate about their work and I like photography videography but I I felt like you like if I, I didn't want to put on any type of like front any type of like I never wanted to like but I did enjoy it so I wasn't like super into it if you guys can see right here like i got pictures all over my wall like of the best pictures i've taken like i actually do enjoy it but i just felt like people can people can people can sense that energy where like you you're not you're not like super passionate about it crazy about it like you're not there to make money you're not there worrying about the time you're just going to get good pictures and then like you get money afterwards um so i feel like that kind of energy is like you can recognize it so that's why i felt weird when i was putting videographer and photographer in my bio like I was just like I felt like that's what I needed to do at the time to like develop like a like a like somewhere where I stand like trying to figure out what was going on and where like what I wanted to be and everything but you can tell when somebody's not passionate about it so I never wanted to be fake with it that's why I don't have videographer photographer in my bio anymore so just because I'm uh, doing this doesn't mean that I'm going to stop doing videos and pictures. I've done it for the past three years. I've gotten pretty good at it, especially at pictures. And that just kind of came naturally. I mean, you got a camera, I got it for doing videos, vlogs, um, but then you got a camera in your hand, so it's like so much easier to stop, shoot one picture real quick than switch over to record, pull a video, get a nice, cinematic clip, smooth, it just doesn't. So naturally, just got better at pictures than I was at videos over time. At the beginning of this year, there was a local restaurant looking for people to start doing like live music and I stopped by and I told them, I was like, yo, my dad was a DJ when I was a kid. The equipment's just kind of like sitting around the house now. I know my music. I've been around it. 80s, 90s, 2000s. I mean, some stuff. Oh, no music better than most people at my age. Um, especially like abroad, like not just like one, but like abroad, like I like a lot of music. So I thought I was like, yo, I'll come in and I'll play some tunes for you um, if you really need me, if you can't find anybody else. Next thing I know, I'm like DJing like four weeks in a row or something like that. And that was just super exciting for me um, just to do something with music. But I didn't want to do DJing full on. Like I'm not trying to be at, what's that, Miami Music Festival, like DJing up there. I'm not Martin Garrix or anything like that. Um, I just really enjoy music, so I enjoy doing that. Um, and it was something besides photography. That's where things started getting a little confusing, and that's where I was like, am I a DJ? Am I a photographer? Am I a rapper? Am I... Yeah, so, like, I'm gonna do a little bit of everything, man. I'm 21. Like, I'm in my 20s. Well, I'm not 21. I'm 22 now. But I'm in my 20s. This is the, this is the time for, like, trying new things, and, 
you know, seeing which one really grabs you and where you end up at. So moving forward with my Instagram, my YouTube and all that, like not, not everything's gonna be coming off, but for the most part, everything's gonna be coming off. All the stuff that I shared on there just because it's my work, not because I actually enjoyed the photo. Uh, that's gonna be moved over to a website where that's gonna host all of my videography, photography work. So if people still wanna see it, still wanna talk to me about it, work with me, they can. Um, my Instagram's gonna be more about my life again, a journal about me rather than my work. That's what I've been working on doing that before I, this next project even came into play. But now I definitely wanna do it because then it's just gonna be super weird when it's like videographer and photographer and then I'm posting something that has nothing to do with it. Uh, yeah. So YouTube, I'll probably leave the videos up. I still got videos back when I was recording in like Lynchburg, Virginia, when I first got my camera, like my first vlog. So I'll probably leave those up just for the sake of like having them there for in the future, being able to look back on them. That's super cool for me. Yeah, so that's just a little update on everything that's been going on with me and where I'm going in the future. I got a new project that I'm working on, which, which is why I wanted to get this video out before I move on to the next thing, just so things aren't super confusing. Uh, I got a new project coming up. I'm super excited about it. It's got something to do with music. It's with the same friend that I was rapping with. I can't speak too much on it because still a lot of stuff in the works. It's, it's exciting. Uh, you guys stay tuned, subscribe if you wanna see what's up with that. Leave a comment, let me know what's up. If you're somebody that I met down in Florida that we ain't talked in a while, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing and everything. Uh, that's pretty much it for the update. Hope I didn't say um too many times. I'm trying to just be natural with this one because like I said, I've done this like 10 times. So, appreciate you guys for watching. If you made it to the end, I gotta go watch this Elon Musk interview. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? All right, so yeah, we're back. Um, damn it. What's up, guys? My What's up guys? All right, what's up guys? Dude, I keep losing my train of thought. <sighs> really gotta work on something better than like, what's up guys?